Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another car boot haul. So this is for the Monday of the bank holiday weekend of uh, May the 5th to the 7th, uh, 2018. Um, I did get a fairly okay pickup, but unfortunately I won't be sharing that with you today because um, basically I got the information about this brand that it's a good brand to pick, off, uh, pick up off someone else who I don't really think would particularly take kindly to me sharing it. So I'm not going to be sharing you that, uh, with you that item. But what I will say is I paid 12 quid for it. I'm hoping to get in the region of £50. I was hoping it would be more like 70 quid, but unfortunately it isn't. It's more in that region of about 50 quid. But £12 into 50 quid, it was still okay. Apologies that I can't share the actual item with you, but I don't want to tread on, uh, obviously, this uh, guy's toes. And I don't want to share information that I don't feel uh, like I've actually got the inf attained the information myself. Um, but anyway... Without further ado, I'll leave that where it is, I'll leave that as it stands, and I will get on with the rest of the haul. So first off is one of the fails. I picked this up for two quid because I thought, I've never seen this, it's a Disney store, um, and I picked this up for two quid because I've never seen this one, I've never seen this emu. And sometimes these are worth paying, you know, one or two pound for in the hope that it's a rare one, and it's, you know, 20, 30 quid. I didn't research it at the stall. Sometimes I research stuff at the stall, other times I don't. But I didn't with this one because I wouldn't even know where to start, really. However, when I got home, I realised that I can literally just type in Disney Emu and it ended up coming up straight away. Not Emu, Ostrich even, and it came up straight away. Not looking great, though. A tenner at best, really. So, uh, yeah, two quid paid for that, a tenner at best. It's a little bit of a fail. Still make a little bit of profit on it, but... Hopefully it doesn't sit around forever. Hopefully I can get my money out of that one and move on. But yeah, that's that one anyway. Uh, next, something that like I've scanned in before and they really don't come up uh, as anything. But I scanned this in to Amazon and I was surprised at this. Brand new and sealed Coronation Street game. I've scanned loads of different ones of these in, you know, Coronation Street games. And they don't seem to come up as anything good. But this one is 67,000 in toys and games, and it's going for 21 quid. So I thought it's worth a punt. I paid, I did pay three quid for it, but I thought I'll send it in, see what's what. You know, if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, then you know it doesn't. But 67,000 in toys and games, it's a decent rank. You know, it's below 100,000, so it's decent. Um, and yeah, so I thought I'd, I thought I'd pay that on that one. And uh, obviously, since I need some Amazon items, I thought yeah. What's so I'm in uh, having a go with that one. It fits my parameters, so yeah, I'll have a go. Um, so that was pretty decent, um, but unexpected nonetheless. Um, and then next, oh, the phone's going off downstairs. Hopefully that doesn't capture too much on video. Uh, next was the logo game staple pickup, really. I think this still does okay on Amazon and on eBay. Um, I'm assuming about £15 still. That's kind of what it used to be. Uh, I paid a quid for it, though, so even if it's come down to a tenner, I'm still in profit. Nice little bread and butter item there. So that's pretty cool. Again, something I paid a quid for is this Playmobil um, little what do you call it, a recycling truck or recycling lorry or something. It's got a little dustbin that was inside it and that's fell out. It's got the lid to the dustbin there. Um, but yeah, so I paid a quid for this. It's got the two men inside there. Um, looking at about sort of 12 to 15 quid, something like that. So pretty nice little pick up there from a quid. Happy with that. Um, I have been, last couple of days, I have been trying to think, try, you know, really mentally trying to say to myself, try and pay less for items. So I've been picking up items for hopefully for less money really. I mean there's the odd thing I paid up a little bit for but I'm trying to get in my headspace of if you can get it for a quid and you flip it for 15 or 20 quid then that's brilliant compared to getting something for three quid or four quid to flip it for 15 or 20. So yeah anyway so I'm, that's what I'm trying to do anyway and it's starting to work a little bit. Uh, in that similar vein actually of better margins uh, paid a quid for this, really nice condition disc, Battle for Middle Earth, nice little pickup, great little pickup, a lot of people know about this, um, and yeah, looking at about 18 quid, now this is on Amazon, this is Amazon prices, so yeah, looking at about 18 quid from a quid, thumbs up, happy with that one, um, something I paid £1.54, I was hoping to get this for a quid, but it wouldn't come down anymore, uh, it goes for a tenner on Amazon, so it, you know, 
very bread and butter item. I might make a couple of quid on it, but not a lot. But I'll send it in, throw it in the box. I need some Amazon items at this point, so I wasn't going to leave it just for the sake of 50p. Um, next was, oh, I made a mistake on this, right? Well, this is fine, you know, the disc is fine, that's not what I'm saying, but um, basically I made a mistake in the fact I was looking for a load of Wii games that were just being pulled out of the car, and I was looking for a load of Wii games, and there was Zelda, like, under this one. I don't know how much Zelda goes for on the Wii, but it was under this one, like, a few under it. And for whatever reason, I put it to the side, and then some other dealer comes in and grabs it, and I'm like, oh, for God's sake, damn it, because I would have had Zelda anyway. But this was, two, I did pay two quid for this. Um, but again, I think on Amazon, I think it's come down slightly, maybe 12, 13 quid or something. I don't know, actually. Might be a little bit more than that on Amazon, but on eBay, I think it's come down a little bit. Um, but yeah, still quite happy with that, even from two quid. It's a nice little bread and butter item. If I sell it on eBay, it's a nice large letter job. If I sell it on Amazon, you know, again, it's easy on Amazon to sell. So yeah, quite happy with that one. Um, and then final little bit of media is this uh, Touch of Frost, a Touch of Frost. Series 3, seems to be 20 quid, yeah, like 20, 24 quid or something merchant fulfilled. So hopefully going to get about 25 to 30 quid on that one. So yeah, pretty cool, as I say, brand new and sealed there. Paid two quid on that one, so I, you know, I was happy with that. Uh, nice to get some sealed media this weekend. I'm really, really, really happy that I actually got some sealed media. Because, um, as I say, I, I need it. I need Amazon items. I keep saying it. I keep boring people with saying it. I need Amazon items. But I do, you know, it's true. Um, so, yeah, anyway, finally, this was okay. This was an alright pickup. I did pay a little bit for it. I paid six quid for it. Um, and I know there's going to be someone saying, you can actually sell VHS players for money. Yes, you can. I always get, sometimes whenever I do a car boot haul with a VHS player in, I always get a comment saying, are they, are they really worth money? Like, people are, are shocked that you can still get money for these. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that's, like, newer resellers. But, um, yeah, anyway, this is a uh, Superdrive Panasonic. Um, sold loads of these in the past. Not exactly this model, but I sold loads of these, you know, VHS players, Superdrive, Panasonic ones. But I think I've had the MVH V60 or something before, and you can get about 50 quid for that. This one is the... Um, MV-FJ620, uh, it's looking like maybe about 40 quid player, 30 to 40 quid, but from 6 quid, I'm still happy with that. It's got its remote with it, it didn't have a scart lead, I did ask him, but I've probably got one, I've got a box of wires down there, and I think I've got a box of wires in the other room, I've probably got one, if not, you can get them dead cheap online, so I'll just buy one online, or maybe go down to Cash Generator, see if they have one for cheap or something. But anyway, I'll get one for cheap, and then I can add it to it, and hopefully make that a 30 or £40 sale, plus my postage. So, happy with that one. And that is literally everything. As I say, it was, uh, wasn't the best today, it was quite competitive. Uh, you know, there was good stuff coming out, I've got to I've got to give it that. You know, the car boot was good, there was good stuff coming out, but it was one of those di days I was kind of missing quite a lot of stuff. Um, there's certain specific deals that go around, and they are on it, they just get so much stuff. It's crazy, like, some people seem to have, like, crazy amounts of uh, drive and confidence, and they're just in there like a shot. I really feel like I need to, like, proper get in there, but at the same time, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be, like, right in everyone's boots and going, like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, like that, and being right in everyone's faces, and, you know, people, like, there's old ladies there who say, can you just give me a minute, can you just give me a minute, and they're still piling in, you know, piling into a boot, and... I don't want to be like that, you know, that's not what I'm about, so at the same time there's got to be kind of a line of how confident or how firm or whatever you you, you want to be. So anyway, I've still got some decent stuff, um, probably go to one next weekend, I've got an auction as well midweek, so depending on how well I do at the auction, I might give myself a break from the car boots next week and go the week after, um, but I don't know, I might go, you know, I always say this, but then on Saturday night I'm like, yeah, I'll probably go, so... I don't know, I might go next week to the car boots, um, but yeah, I've got an auction midweek, so I'll hopefully get quite a lot of stuff from there. Um, pretty good pickups wise this weekend, to be honest, I did charity shops on Saturday, got a couple of bits, uh, got a few uh, Cindy bits actually, like vintage Cindy dolls, so I've done pretty well. I think I, I'm, I probably just uh, 
fallen short of a thousand pound worth of pickups you know in the weekend but i've almost hit that sort of thousand pound worth of sales on everything i picked up and to be honest my spend has been less than a hundred quid on all that stuff so really really good so i'm quite happy actually on an overall sense and that's what i always preach you've got to look at it as an overall sense don't look at it as one item you've made a fail on Look at it as, you know, an overall picture. How much do you stand to make from your, your spend, you know, in terms of turnover and profit from everything, not just one item. You might make, you know, you might make a loss on one item. You might have to send it back to a car boot or something or send it to a charity shop. But on another item, you might make a £100 profit. So it all averages out well. But anyway, I'll leave it there. I'm not going to ramble any longer. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you very much for watching.